What's up, everybody? So I got another vi <clears throat> excuse me, got another video coming out here. Uh, this is actually a custom firmware that was released yesterday. Uh, this is Ferox 4.85 with Cobra 8.20, uh, which uh, I thought Ferox was out of the loop. Apparently not. So I've uh, got the custom firmware PUP here. And uh, link will be below in the description. Uh, there is no toolbox like you would use with Habib or your um, your hand enabled environment or with uh, Rebug. For example, they all have separate toolboxes for you to use. I believe this has a secondary menu installed on settings, but I don't know. I haven't even run this firmware yet, so I'm going to install it and explore it with you guys. Uh, so you can install this on any ps3 that is compatible to install a permanent custom firmware with uh, this does also give you a, uh, the ability to install hybrid firmware or hybrid custom firmware if you choose so you can freely upgrade to the 4.85.1 hybrid firmware to load hen instead of running a permanent custom firmware i don't know why you would do that but whatever so uh, let's dive into this video so first what you're going to need is a thumb drive which i already have in the PC and uh, you're on the root of that thumb drive you're gonna want to make a folder called PS3 in all caps open that up make an update folder in all capital letters and then inside here is where we're gonna place the PS3 up at file so I'm gonna delete the old one I got in here and I'm gonna drag and copy the Ferox uh, PUP over to my USB stick so let that copy over, and then we're going to have to rename that, obviously, so that way it comes up in our PS3 console. And, uh, yeah, then we go from there. Okay, so now that that's copied over, uh, what you're going to want to do now is uh, rename this, uh, all capital letters, PS3 Update. WP. I believe it's up there. Hold on, let me look. I haven't renamed one of these. Yeah, PS3 update. That's what you want it to be. So just rename that file as PS3 update.pup in that folder. And again, like I said, that's on the root of the stick in the PS3 and an update folder. So your update, there's your PS3 folder. And that's all you're going to need. So now we're just going to hop over to the PS3 and install the firmware. This is a CEX based firmware. Do not install this on DEX base. You will destroy your console. That will be in the big note in all caps right below the download link in the description. Okay, so I don't want anybody going, oh, you bricked my system. No, you just didn't read. Alrighty, so returning to the PlayStation 3 once again, uh, I am currently running the Rebug 4.85 Lite custom firmware. Uh, from my last video, but uh, we're going to swap firmwares here. So what I'm going to do is uh, just go over to your system update, as we usually do, and select update via storage media. It's going to scan your device, and you will see the 4.85 PS3 update.pup. We're going to hit X on that and allow that to do its thing. It's going to copy the update data to the system, and then it's going to install from that copy to the system or from the system storage. So let that copy over and then press your PS button and run the install and just wait for the system to do its thing. All right, checking for the update data. And let's see, I press my PS button and then it should just start installing automatically. Da -da -da -da. Installing. So allow that to finish, and then we will boot up and check out the new Ferox custom firmware 4.85. So I shall return once the installation is complete. Okay, so now that the installation literally took forever, um, we are now running the 4.85 Ferox uh, Cobra-enabled custom firmware. So, let's dive into this and see what it looks like. Well, I guess the first thing that I've noticed is that we do have Package Manager and we do have the App Home PS3 game. My logos are back to blue, which is <laughs> odd looking because I've been running Rebug for such a long time. So let's go check out our settings. 
if there's anything added. Now let's see if there's debug settings. No, I'm not seeing any debug settings. So those aren't there. Uh, let's see. Bum, 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 bum. Date and time, theme settings, system settings. Let's check this out. <laughs> Oh, I don't see anything new in here. System information. Still the same kind of bullshit. Okay. I don't see anything new there. Photos is the same. Music is the same. Video is the same. That's the same. Okay. Let's see what our package manager looks like. Same damn thing. Okay. Let's check out our webman here. I'm running the uh, the Webman mod, uh, Webman setup, PlayStation 3, PlayStation 2. Now let's uh, try and mount a PlayStation 2 here. Mr. Dragon Ball Z Shin Budokai. Okay, so that has been mounted. So that mounted properly. That worked okay. Let's start it up and see if it works. I am running a slim PS3, so firmware pretty much looks exactly the same as. Well, I guess it works, and like I was saying, I think I got cut off because of the transition, but um, I just said that it looks exactly like Rebug. It just looks different, you know, or or it acts exactly like Rebug. It just looks different. So that's cool. So the Cobra definitely works. So that's good to know. Okay, returning to XMB after testing out a PS2 ISO. And uh, 4.85 CEX Cobra 8.20. So it does pick it up and everything. So everything works promptly fine. If you do not have... Uh, webman installed you can go and refer to my other video to install the webman mod um, which is this little fancy tool right here is it in here no it's in here hold on I show you there it is this little thing webman mod 1.47.25 I'll leave the uh, the package file down below in the description for download as well so in case you don't have it you can just download it and install it and then uh, when you boot it up I believe it's L1 it says right on the logo here hold down yeah L1 for the full edition so when you boot it up just hold down L1 and install the webman mod that will install this category here if you don't have it already which is the webman games uh, this will pop up on your XMB you can install this on any uh, custom firmware that has Cobra enabled or has Cobra available to be enabled and uh, yeah so that's pretty much it so the Cobra is automatically enabled in Firefox 4.85 custom firmware again this is a CEX base do not install this on a DEX you will break your console um, but yeah I mean I think I'm gonna go back to rebug just because I have a lot more options and stuff on rebug custom firmware so but that's for another time so rate comment and subscribe i'll talk to you guys later again the links will be below in the description and enjoy your new custom firmware